Police say the driver initially left the scene but then returned and tonight is in custody. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is in Washington Heights tonight with the new developments. Christina Maurice police are guarding what is still an active scene here on the sidewalk on Broadway near 190th Street. Behind me, you can see the final moment of impact when the car hit the funeral home. The force was so strong, it caused the wall to cave in and crack. Just imagine being in between the car and the wall, and we are told that was the situation for at least two little girls just three years old. Police say the car jumped the curb around 6 this evening in Washington Heights, hitting the pedestrians before crashing into R.G. Ortiz's funeral home. The car, when it hit the wall, um, the engine was keep uh, going, like uh, accelerating like, like 60 miles an hour. Police tell us at first the female driver ran away, but then returned to the scene and was placed into custody. We're told those two children have minor injuries to their face and were taken to a hospital in stable condition. The NYPD says four adults were also hurt and have leg injuries, but are listed in stable condition. <laughs> A witness gave us this video showing the panic just moments after the crash and the car still smoking. Good Samaritans tried to help those injured. The children, they got blood uh, on their mouth. Uh, the man went under the car. After he got hit, he went under the car and they pull him out. Again, two children injured and four adults as a result of this car jumping the curb. It is not clear what caused the driver to lose control. No word yet on whether the driver will face charges. In Washington Heights, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.